Hey everyone, it's Jess. Today I'm doing a review of the Gucci Marmont camera bag and the YSL Lulu camera bag. So these bags are both stunning. I have the black Gucci Marmont bag and the dark beige YSL bag. So these are both really gorgeous bags. I've had the Gucci one for a few years now and the YSL I've had for a couple weeks. However, I do have the YSL in the bigger medium size. So I do know how the leather wears. So let's start with the pros and cons, but I just want to show you both bags side by side. The width, the zippers, and I'll show you the back of each bag. So the Gucci is still very branded. The YSL is not. So let's first start off with the Gucci. So I've had this bag for a few years and this has been my workhorse bag. It fits all my essentials and the leather on this is super soft and it's really squishy. I have noticed a bit of tarnishing Sorry for my nails, guys. I'm filming all these videos at once and I cannot find my polish remover. So yeah, there is a bit of tarnishing, but I've used this bag in the rain and snow, which is not recommended, so do keep that in mind. The zipper is pretty easy to open and then you have this microfiber fleecy material on the inside, super soft, and I do love that it's beige because it's easy to see what's inside your bag. However, it does stain, so keep that on mind. The strap drops on both of the bags are the same. I'll insert pictures of myself wearing both bags. I am five, six and a half for reference and about 124 pounds. I love this bag because I feel like it's really just stood the test of time. It looks basically new. I have smushed this bag and not taken care of it, so do keep that in mind. It's been through all the weather. It's been smushed under piles of clothes, so I definitely could have taken better care of it and would look even better. However, the Gucci um, logo looks basically new. There's no scratches. It actually got shiny over time, which I found very interesting because it's much more brassy when you first buy it. So overall, I would recommend this bag a 10 out of 10. I still see a lot of people buying it and wearing it, so I definitely think it is still very modern and in trend. So if you do like this style more than the YSL bag, then I say go for it. I actually think this leather is a bit more durable because I actually scratched my bigger YSL bag, which is the same leather, rather quickly. And this one has not scratched. It does have some indents. Like I said, I've rested a bunch of stuff on it, but there's no scratches. Now with the YSL camera bag, it is taller than that Gucci bag. And it is about the same width. However, like I said, this leather is a lot more fragile. So you do need to keep that in mind. Also, the tassel, as you can tell, falls down. So it doesn't really stay in place however it is detachable another thing is the zipper on this is more stiff and then inside is like a black hole so you really can't find your stuff as well but like i said this bag does fit a slight bit more so do keep that in mind i think this bag will stay more on a trend longer to me it just looks more classy with the v detailing instead of kind of that spiky chevron detail and you could even wear it this way to be very low key so it's a bit more versatile. With this, there's also enough room where you can attach a top handle with this link. You could just hook it right there and that also does add some versatility. Overall, I think this bag will be more classic for a longer period of time but the leather in my opinion is just a bit more fragile and it is harder to find your item. Both bags are really really gorgeous and that's why I did buy both and I think if you do love the camera bag and for you if this is an everyday bag I definitely do recommend doing what I did and get a dark color of one bag and then a light color of the other ones. So Gucci also does have a pinkish beige color bag and YSL does make black bag with gold hardware. So you can even add a fun color. I know sometimes Gucci comes out with fun colors and so does YSL and sometimes they both come out with different fabrics. So you can keep that in mind too. If I had to pick one bag 
honestly, it would probably be my Gucci bag because it was the one that I did purchase first and it is just a bit more carefree and it's so easy to find your items. However, I am very glad that I do have both because this is really close second. I do just have to be a bit more careful with it because the leather is just a bit more fragile. Even if I got this in the darker color, I believe I would have the same problem because I do have this in the big toy Lulu, not toy Lulu, but the big Lulu, the medium size in black, and I did scratch it, and you could definitely tell. So keep that in mind. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions on something I didn't talk about, let me know, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible and try to answer that question. Let me know which one's your favorite. If you could pick one, would you pick the Gucci Marmot or the YSL? Overall, like I said, they're both gorgeous bags and I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure you thumbs up this video to see more like it. I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video featuring this beauty that's been in my collection for a few weeks now. And yeah, I think that'll be a really great video for you guys also to see what fits inside of it. And make sure you thumbs up this video so I know you want to see more content like this and you're subscribed so you don't miss out on those future videos. Anyways, I hope you all are doing great. Bye.